we've, had, we've had boyfriend and girlfriend present on the same night, but we've never had husband and wife present on the same night back to back. Right? So this is a critical moment in the evolution of the Cha 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 in Providence. Um, so Jillian is a sculptor who uh, is inspired by the objects that we see yeah. every day in our daily lives. Of uh, many of those she finds in already existing architecture and industry and her presentation is called Inside and Out. So here we have this smokestack project. This is a piece that I received a large-scale commission um, to take this smokestack and add public artwork to it. I installed the artwork in 2007. It was a two-year project. And with this presentation, I just want to talk to you about um, artwork from 2007 to present day. So generally, I go about creating my artwork um, going straight to a small scale model. But here I actually drew a little thumbnail sketch and then um, went into my studio and sculpted this out of steel. Um, here I am working off of the model, creating the sculpture. This is my studio. It's on the west side of Providence, kind of behind the mall. It's a 500 square foot space. And I um, created this piece um, in sections using a box construction. So each portion is welded. Um, here's the finished piece. It's American Dreams. It's stainless steel. It stands about 13 feet tall. And with this public artwork, I'm thinking about um, how we achieve and um, work towards our personal goals, but also staying connected and grounded to community. Um, this picture was taken by my parents after my sculpture <laughs> was made, so they kind of validated that, oh, we see, you see things every day, and here we saw them too. <laughs> um, so that was good that they understood that. Um, <laughs> I work on a smaller scale, kind of a gallery size pieces. This is a series I made for the four seasons and um, how they're personal to me. The detail in the center of this piece is a weather vane and this is as winter sets. With these series of pieces, I wanted the form to remain the same and I wanted to incorporate the same size wheels in each sculpture. So this is spring quilt and um, the quilt the bronze quilt is in the center, and it's about simply changing our bed linens with the seasons. Um, I made these smaller pieces as um, I have time in between larger public artworks. So here we have a piece that's um, on the Bath Street Pedestrian Bridge. It's over the Wunasquatucket River, and this was commissioned by the Wunasquatucket River Watershed Council. Um, the round disc is representative of the circle of life found within the neighborhood as well as um, the river. The school of fish swim over the circle of life, and on the other side of the sculpture is a text, educational text about the river's history and the fish that you can see um, in the river. This is stainless steel, and it's right down the street, Promenade and Kinsley, so check it out. Um, here we have summer ceremony. We're on to the summer season. And um, this piece I am reflecting on, well, I'm actually anticipating my upcoming marriage. And the, the center detail is a small gilded handkerchief. And it was about tradition in my family. I was commissioned by the Downtown Improvement District to create informational posting kiosks. And Russell Preston actually designed the overall kiosk design. I partnered with the Steel Yard. They created the main um, black frame. And then I created the decorative bronze top. This is a private client that, um, this, that commissioned this piece. It's a bronze vine that's leading up into a dynamic hawk swing. It's about um, the owner's annual flight to the island, as well as the name of the cottage. Um, I was really attracted to these rock formations on the island and the um, tree trunks that, were, that looked like they were growing out of the rocks. And 
and then again, a small thumbnail sketch, as rare it is, as it is, um, but that's where the idea came from. Um, I was commissioned by the TF Green Airport. I have a piece at the Mary Brennan Boardroom. This is day to day, and I was inspired to create this overall shape um, based on the 1920s, kind of 1930s hangers found in those days. And uh, it's really about connectivity and opening up to the everyday transactions of the airport. Fall processing. I received a food processor, and I love food processing, so I had to incorporate the blade, but I was also processing the partnership that I had just um, committed to. So, um, the next piece is uh, about a four-foot stainless steel piece. These are little wheels with wings. And um, I almost imagine them as little things zooming around this piece and leaving their path on the sculpture. Um, then we have another piece. This is similar to the TF Green Airport piece. There's that kind of um, symmetry that you can see in the sculpture. And this is golden nest inside um, the detail piece. It sits slightly off-center, so I'm thinking about femininity, nesting, and family. Uh, this is another inspirational kind of thing I've been thinking about, um, working with these tall grasses. I'm originally from Iowa, so I was thinking about these bales of hay. And I also, uh, and so I started sculpting these bud shapes, and I knew I wanted to convey them in a round pattern, sort of dynamic motion. So I made this water tower. The buds um, climb at, uh, around the sculpture in each box, and into the water tower you can find them converging, and um, I, I think of these as like sort of buds of energy that create this very dynamic pattern. Um, lastly, this is what I'm working on. Um, this is the Water Place Towers in downtown Providence. I'm creating an 18-foot stainless steel sculpture that will be installed in October. So I hope that you can check it out then, and uh, I will be very busy until then. <laughs> so, thank you very much. Okay, so we're going to take a break, so go ahead and get